Hello guys, it's Nato Ace. I want to give my thoughts and reaction to the Pokemon Direct just happened on February the 27th. Of course, it was way, way early morning for me. Six in the morning, so I had to wake up just to see. Seven minutes. Basically, yes, they announced Generation 8 of Pokemon for the Nintendo Switch. Yes, so finally, they are moving to the Nintendo Switch. I remember two E3s ago, 2017, the president of Pokemon Company did say, yeah, we are basically developing a main Pokemon game on the Switch. You might say, why not 3DS? Because the 3DS is already out the door. Why not just put it on the Switch? So it's going to be interesting here. So how much is it going to cost and what new feature? Well, the video itself basically just it shows a... Let's just say an introductory trailer to what the new generation is. So, of course, there's a the new Pokemon male and female design. They show the new starter Pokemon. And, of course, a little bit of discussion. So, one of the interesting part here is that Junichi Masuda used to be, well, I think he was the creator of the Pokemon, but he's also the director for the past Pokemon game. No longer the director, this is going to be someone, someone new now. Shigeru Omori doing the directing so and then of course the game itself takes place now called the Gala region and it does look like something that's like from London or Great Britain let's just say it has a European taste in it even like the design of the clothing for your trainer because in Generation 7 the Aloha region was supposed to be Hawaii that's why they look like tropical now it's more of well you know what you're in an old city uh, Great Britain, something like that. Because I kind of saw a lot of like Big Ben, London Tower type of structure there. But hey, so in this seven minute, what do I think about it? Well, it is a Pokemon game now, it looks like in the Switch. However, it, I mean, the graphic is more smoother than the 3DS. Remember, the 3DS is supposed to be sort of powerful as a Wii. And now the Switch, basically more powerful than the Wii U, but of course, you know, not powerful than the other system. Sorry, you know it is what it is, but that's a different story. So the graphic looks much better, but unfortunately I was watching Nintendo Prime. I'm not influenced by his opinion, but I kind of get where it's coming from. It still feels like, it looks like you're still playing like a 3D Pokemon game. It has a static view rather than walking be like a third person view, like an old you know, 360 open world, so, I mean, I can understand because you know how hard it is, and Pokemon Company, or Game Freak to some extent, uh, they're not, I mean, to some extent, they are good doing 3D, but not like open world style, so I can understand where that's coming from, but overall, right now, it is, so far, it looks interesting, looks good, but of course, it's only introductory, so no a lot of information about it, but so far, it's, it's still good. So the next question is, what do I think about the new starter set for the Gala region? Uh, well, well, let's just say that since Pokemon Company Game Freaks, they've been doing this for a long time, since 1996. Uh, to some extent, I, maybe not, I'm just thinking too much about it. They're probably just running out of idea of how to make some intriguing starter Pokemon or animal type of Pokemon or whatever. I mean, it's always interesting, it's always like an animal type to some extent, but you know, it is Pokemon. And of course, they show the starter, they're, well, they're cute because you know, you know how it goes. First level, they're like cutesy and then the final evolve is gonna be like really big and really like manly to some extent. I mean, look at Incineroar, look at Greninja, and, you know, look at those Pokemon, their final evolution. So it's probably going to be the same deal with the three Pokemon. And, of course, nobody, no one's going to find out until probably almost the end of the year when the game finally comes out. Because, you know, you know how Pokemon does with their Pokemon secrets. You know, I remember Pokemon Black and White. There were a lot of embargoes they couldn't even do in the review, which is utterly ridiculous. And of course, during the reviews or previews, there are certain rules that they can't do, like can't pass the after the second gym battle, can't mention about the new Pokemon evolution. I mean, it is what it is. That's how Pokemon Company works. But to some extent, if I were to pick my number one and number two rank, 
because you know to some extent uh, I mean for me personally for a while I used to buy two versions of them believe it or not even with the Game Boy and the uh, Game Boy Color DS 3DS like that I always buy two versions of them I don't know why I just do it because I just like it because of the whole point of Pokemon is that there is sort of a like exclusive Pokemon and the whole point of it also is trading so I mean that's always been a deal so the two Pokemon are probably going to choose for this time around with the Gala region for Sword and Shield is number one is I have to go with a lot of people I gotta he looks cool it looks cool Score Bunny right now when I'm looking at the Score Bunny basically reminds me of Max from Simon Max and Rabbit I don't know why I mean it's why uh, judging there's like some sort of tape over his nose I'm gonna assume it's a fire probably gonna be a fighter another type like uh, Infernape but we'll just have to wait and see and then the number second choice I have to go with is Grookey which is a grass monkey it looks cute man they look cute you know it looks cute uh, so you might say what about Swabble Zobble well I have no idea and why is he doing some weird ninjutsu hand gesture but Whatever, I mean, it's still too early for it. So, I mean, that's my thoughts on the starter one. So, the last part here is that I mentioned before, and I'm not influenced the Nintendo Prime when he thinks about the game. First of all, you say, oh, the graphic kind of looks like a high-res version of the 3DS. Well, they, are they playing it safe? Are they trying to do something new? Again, as of right now, I, I have to agree with a lot of people. Uh, Player Asset basically mentioned this, is that it is too early to tell. Remember, the whole point of that seven minute Pokemon Direct is an introductory of Generation 8 to get people hype up. I mean, for crying out loud, it's not even March yet when they show this Pokemon Direct. The whole point is just to get hype, to think about it, do your own fanfic, fan fiction until the game comes out. Remember, throughout the year, there's going to be a lot of information that's going to come in on Coral Crow Magazine, Nintendo Power, or not Nintendo Power, but Nintendo website? Podcast? I don't know. Anyway, E3, GameSpot, uh, YouTube, until the end of November. Usually that's when Pokemon gets released. November. It's always been the right spot there. And, you know, there'll be, it's like it'll be a lot of time. It's gonna be, it'll be a long time before even, even... They're gonna reveal it. Right now, it's just too early. It's so, supposed to be a teaser introductory to Pokemon Gen 8, Sword and Shield. Because there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of questions coming in here. Is it gonna be just a fixed camera, just like the 3DS? Will it be finally 360, or open world style? Again, how do you do trading? Well, with the, with the other Switch, kind of makes sense. But you got Pokemon from the 3DS, from... DS from the Game Boy Advance. Well, well, to some extent, if you read those ones, it's kind of weird. In order to bring something from the GBA all the way to the 3DS, you got to have to have the old DS, the DS Lite or the DS Fat. And then you got to put the Game Boy, Sapphire, Ruby, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and then the DS game. And then from the DS to the 3DS, you have to put it on Pokemon Black and White. And then for black and white, you have to basically put a game in Pokemon Bank. There's a Pokemon Bank for the 3DS. And then for Pokemon Bank, then you can put in uh, X and Y, uh, Omega, Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. And it's very convoluted. And then, of course, in Sun and Moon, you have to once again use the Pokemon Bank from X and Y. But also, it has also another feature that the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, the blue, red, yellow, gold, silver, and crystal, man, that was a long time ago. You can transfer those, transfer those Pokemon, put it on the Pokemon back with the 3DS, and bring it to Sun and Moon. I mean, again, it's convoluted. Probably the link's going to be the description box on how to do this, because it's very convoluted. <laughs> but the bottom line is, so how are they going to do it from Sun and Moon to Sword and Shield? That's what I'm trying to get there. Who knows? Right now, like I said, it's too early to tell. And there'll be more. So, to any Pokemon fan, 
be patient about it. More info will come in before the game's release, which is going to be a long, long, long time. And for me personally, will I buy both Sword and Shield? What I'm probably going to do is... First, I'm kind of bummed out that Amazon doesn't do 10% off or 20% off or 25% off. I think it was 20% off, so... Whatever, I mean, the, they still do some sort of sale. And, I mean, if you notice, uh, Hey You, Eevee, basically, it's like $50 to some extent, but probably went back to 60 again. I'm probably going to start with one, with Pokemon Sword. I have to go with Pokemon Sword with this one, because I like Sword and Shield. And maybe in the long run, I'll do Shield. Who knows? But I think it's going to be, because this is going to be the Switch, and they're like $60 now. I'm not, I'm not really buying, like, I'm not going to, I paid 120 dollars for both games. Well, not in one shot, but you know what I mean. So, there you go. My thoughts on the Pokemon reveal trailer, the introductory trailer. Yeah, more will come. So, to anyone asking a lot of questions like transfer, what kind of camera, graphics, what's the features, etc., 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 be patient. They'll talk about it more. And I can guarantee you at E3 2019, Nintendo or Pokemon Company, they'll talk more about this game. With that, I'll see you guys later.